What up, it's your man Headcracker. Listen, I haven't done one of these up close and personal joints in a minute. And over here standing next to me, I got a good friend of mine, super talented producer, amazing artist, awesome human being, very consistent, the one, the only, James Worthy. What up, what up, what goes up? Wow. <laughs> now, listen, um, you're, you're here not only because I, I believe in your talent. Thank you. But you have new music out. Yes. In the form of an EP. Yes. And you're actually doing some pretty groundbreaking things, man. You're getting people together that haven't been unified in the same front in a long time. So yeah. where, where do we begin? Man, where do we begin? Um, Blue Leisure is out. Yes, it's sir. EP. If you haven't heard it, go get that right now. Available everywhere. And, and to like the best to describe the tone of Blue Leisure, it's like... Uh, I don't know. It's like if Sade had a baby with. Uh, I don't know. You, when you got Sade, you don't even need anybody it's else. Like, it's, but but it's, but as dudes is is you as a guy you can listen to it. Yeah. As a woman you gonna appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. I mean it's for you guys. Don't get it twisted. It's mm. for the ladies, but it's a little bit of everything for everybody. You know. No, but I'm talking about like how well balanced it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, it's like it's it's a dark sound. Mixed with a mixture of R and B, hip hop, soul, and a jazz influence, if you will. Got you. So it's just kind of a a well balanced project, and it's only seven songs. Yeah. You know, so that's just the beginning. So uh, speaking of the beginning, great segue. I always like to find out where did artists get their humble beginnings from? Like, right. Where did James Worthy start from, and what got you to this point where you are today? Wow. Um, from New York, from okay. Queens, New York. You know, up top, baby. And um, I was just a young kid who just loved music. Um, I didn't know I was going to be an artist. I didn't know I was going to be a producer, a songwriter. I just wanted to do music. And my dad, um, he was a celebrity bodyguard, still is. Okay. And um, I just got exposed to different styles of music. And, you know, from New York, you're going to be exposed to everything. It's, it's all around you. It's, you it's can't all around it. you. So Jamaica Ave, you know, Linden Boulevard, you know, tribe all day. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So that really just kind of gave me a start into the inspiration of music. And then uh, fast forward, when I got a chance to meet the late and great Michael Jackson, uh, that kind of took it over the top. And that's when I knew, hands down, I want to be in the music industry. Now, you fall into the small 1% of people <laughs> that can like, walk around Earth talking about, yo, I met Michael Jackson. Michael Jack. And, and then do it on a humbug. That was a drive-by comment, right? Bit, that was a drive-by. <laughs> so how do you meet Michael Jackson Cause I had the glove. You had the glove? And the doll, my niggas. And oh, wow. I did not get a chance to meet Michael Jackson. So you know what? So, you know, again, my pops, you know, um, celebrity bodyguard. So um, this was, I was around 11, 12 years old. Okay. And um, somehow we ended up at Webster Hall. And uh, my dad had some passes to go, uh, you know, front stage, front and center. And Michael was accepting an award that day. Okay. I uh, forgot what award, but it was some prominent award. And um, was had had my spray painted Michael Jackson shirt. You know, <laughs> I'm a huge Michael fan already. So um, you know, I mean, people are just uh, just falling out, falling on the floor, like you know, it's Michael. So long story short, um, we end up backstage um, after the show, and um, we're in the green room. And I had a chance to meet him, you know, it's only him and five other people, which it kind of freaked me out. I was like, I would have thought it was way more people. The other the five people weren't like Tito, Randy. No, they're Duncan. just, I guess, friends, yeah. other family members, whatever the case is. But me and my dad walked in. And as soon as we walked in, he saw us walk in and he says, he points to me and he points to my dad. He says, is that your son? My dad was like, yeah. He was like, Mike was like, He's gonna be something special. I can feel it. I don't know you guys, but I can feel it. And I said, and and now you know, I'm young. I really don't know exactly what that means all the way, but to some degree, I did. And back then, you weren't even doing music yet. Like yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't at all. You know, like it was just a thought. You know, from what I've seen around me and television and all that. But just the fact to have that, yeah, to be the introduction, I was like, yeah. Yes, yeah. See, like, and, and sometimes <laughs> people that know know, because like I would imagine like Michael Jackson is like an energy dude, like he can read oh, yeah, the yeah, energy yeah, 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 of yeah. people and and can yeah, just he'll just look things. at you and just like yeah, just yeah. read you. So to get that christening, all that right. you was like pretty much destined for greatness off the rip. That's what I thought. I'm like, all these years went by. I'm like, it's no way that 
Michael Jackson is in my vicinity and it's not going to happen. Right. <laughs> so when you think about what your tipping point is, because everybody has that thing that yeah. like, you know, really put them in the game full blown. Yeah. What was that for you? Well, the tipping point was when um, I did some work with Swisher House in Houston. Okay. Um, that was sort of the beginning. So once now, who particularly with Swisher House? Uh, well, you know, you got your Mike Jones, yeah, you got your Paul Walls, you got millionaire, your right? Millionaire, you know, all that. So um, after that, um, I started working with, of course, other industry artists. Uh, I started with uh, Young Berg. Went over to um, I don't know if you're familiar with him, but his name is Keyshawn Moore. He's in the ATL movie. Uh, I mean, I, he's, he's an actor. I gotta as well. Google it. He's, yeah. he's he's done a lot of stuff. But me and him, we did a record called um, Inked Up, featuring Kwani Cash. Okay. And um, it did really well. So it just kind of gave me some some momentum. Some momentum, you know, got me hot a little bit, you know, some rumblings, <laughs> and just kind of kept going. Wow. Yeah. So here we are. We got we got the EP out. Yes. You getting ready to shoot some visuals. Um, you've also, in addition to like legendary guys like Michael Jackson. Yes. On the hip hop side. You got some heavy hitters on your project as well. Like, I yeah, mean, man. you know, humble yeah. brag, humble brag. I mean, who who on it? Yo, we, we got the legendary ecstasy of Houdini on there. You know what I mean? That's my mentor, my big brother. Now, real quick, if I may interject, for anybody who was born like after 1998 <laughs> and have no idea who, who Houdini is, do you do your Googles, people. Oh, who, I mean, if you don't know, Freeze Come Out at Night, Friends, I mean, um, Funky Beat, mm -hmm. what, uh, One Love... All that. Yo, the best way to describe Houdini is if Migos and <laughs> Drake were like were like mashed together to create a group. Because they like the dudes rocked with Houdini, but they were also melodic. Yes, and they were breaking yes. records at the yes. time that were not being done. Like they paved the and way they for were, a lot of guys. They're one of the most sampled groups. Absolutely. Actually, I mean, who who gets sampled by NWA? What were some of the NWA samples? Uh, cruising down the street in my six five. That's Houdini. Oh, I guess the beginning of my whole, yeah, right? Ding, 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 you know what? I never really put that's, that together. That's Houdini. I, I mean, that slipped by me. Nas and Lauryn Hill. If I rule, rule the, the world, world, imagine that. Come on, man. Yeah, man. So big shout out to uh, Ecstasy from Houdini. Yes. Uh, yeah, he definitely brushed the project. The, um, who else we got? We got Tony Terry, the legendary R&B legend. Yo, and like, once again, there's another person you should do your Googles on. Come on, man. For all you people out here walking around, too, well, I like Jacquees. The no. DNA of Tony Terry and guys like that yes. were in the DNA of the people who would eventually go on to inspire Jack man. Weiss. Shout out to my boy Tony Terry. We got Kalina Harper from Dirty Money. If you don't know who Diddy Dirty Money is, research them as well. Last Train to Paris, great album. Word. And also we have uh, Sona Relay. She is a recording artist on Motown. Okay. So she's very dope. Uh, I believe she's Neo's artist as well. All right. So it's a perfect yeah. blend of like, you know, classic. Yes. Future. Absolutely. And I mean and then like future classic right here. Like I mean, yo, James Worthy is out here making moves. Thank you. Uh, brother. Not only is he a dope artist, he's a dope producer. Thank uh you. you recently worked with a good friend of mine named Jada Trades who won the yes, Atlanta version yes. of the tape. Came and, out of the studio. Yo, the, the cook up that's happening there is phenomenal. We got some, we got some work to do as well. Yeah, and man. If people want to catch where you're gonna be at next or like what's uh, lined up for you for the next six months, where do yes. they go? So um, it's a lot of stuff. So actually, we just released the video for Glow, which okay. is off the EP. So make sure you go. Beautiful video. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Go see that. Um, we are working on new visuals. So actually, probably end of May, I will be dropping a new record with DJ Luke Nasty called I Can Tell. So videos coming soon for that. Nice. So stay tuned for that. And be on the lookout for the Blue Leisure Tour. Cool. Blue if Leisure. people don't follow you already... Where can they go? We're going to drop it right there in the lower thirds as well. So follow me at King James Worthy on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anywhere. King James Worthy. Hit yeah. that follow button. It's, and, it's at the bottom. And drop some flames in the comments, man. The brother is worthy of your ears and your time. This is Head Crack After Hours. Shout out to the homie James Worthy. Yes, sir, man. Pick up the album. Go now, get it. the EP, rather. Get it.